this video I'm going to show you how to change out the battery on your Keeb fob on your Ford Expedition. This one behind me happens to be a 2012, but if you have an Expedition that's the same year, the same body style, uh, it should be the same. They didn't do a whole lot to these trucks over the years, so I'll show you how easy it is to do and what's involved in swapping it out. But before I roll into this, remember if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It would be a huge help to us. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I will reply back to you. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. we got a lot of great content coming out. So here's what the key fob looks like on my Ford Expedition. You can open it pretty easy with a coin. There's a little notch right here. So what you want to do is there's a little, there's a small notch right there. So you want to take a coin and open it like that. Kind of use the coin to pry up, and pry the cover off. Now there's a little rubber boot in there that you want to be careful of. You want to make sure it doesn't like fall or anything. Um, there's like the little boot right there it kind of helps to keep moisture and stuff out here is the battery that the key fob has uh, this one has a Panasonic battery the plus side is up the positive sides up and the number on it's a CR2032 it is a three bolt battery it's kind of hard to see but to take it out you can kind of just put your finger in there um, to replace it this one's good so I'm going to slide it back in Put the negative side down, positive side up. Then make sure that this little grommet inside, if it comes out, make sure it's sitting in there like that. It has a notch in it that's curved, so you can kind of only put it in one way, and it kind of seals this area as well. So you're going to put that back on like that, and it should press right back into place for you. Give it a test, make sure it's okay. Pretty simple to do, right? <laughs> Just wanted to do a quick, easy video for you guys. Uh, like I said, if you have a comment or a question, reply back and I'll answer them for you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.